Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's James here. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you what y'all have been asking me for a while now. James, how did you start investing in your 20s? Don't worry if you're not in your 20s because this applies to all ages. This is just majority of people that have been asking me questions. They're in their 20s and they want to know how to invest their money. When I'm talking about investing in your 20s, guys, I'm right there with you. I'm 25 years old. I bought my first property when I was 25 years old, basically right whenever I turned 25, and it has been wonderful ever since. Hit that like and that subscribe button down below if you like making money and creating financial freedom through real estate investing. So here we go. First thing, let go of your pride. That's what I'm gonna say the very first thing is let go of your pride because in order to make money in your 20s, to save money, to invest money, you have to let go of your pride. You have to live below your means. The next thing is you have to hustle. If you're in your early 20s, you gotta hustle extra. After classes, you need to get a part-time job if you're wanting to save up for your financial future. That's what it, ha that's what it has to be. Work part-time and then most likely save all of that money. Don't go, go, don't go out to eat all the time, but you are going to have to save your money and hustle your butt off in order to start investing in something like real estate like I did. So the first thing I'm going to tell you to do is invest in yourself. Yes, you've heard that numerous times. I'm sure you have. If you're looking at YouTube videos on how to invest in your 20s, I'm sure you've heard of investing in yourself. But guys, that's the truth. I spent $400 on a, on a real estate investing course Guess how much that's made me to date? Over $7,000. Investing in yourself is what a lot of people preach, but you don't do. But guys, if you want great ROIs, which is return on investment, you put $400 into a course and you've gotten out $7,000 in that course right now, that's, that's amazing. You have to invest in yourself in order to get the skills and the knowledge that you need to actually invest in something like real estate. You aren't just gonna wake up one day and know everything about real estate investing. There's so much to it. I've studied this craft for you know over two years, putting in 16 hours a day, not taking a break from my studies, and I still don't know everything. I believe people that you know have been doing this for 30 years still don't know everything about real estate investing. There's just too much out there to know and then the laws keep changing and everything else so you have to keep learning. When you're first starting out, you know, investing in your 20s, that doesn't necessarily always mean money. Invest your time. Invest your time working at a part-time job to make money and then save everything you get to invest in real estate. Now you're investing money to make more money, then that money is gonna make you more money. But at first, most likely, you're going to be having to invest time. That's all hustle is. It's investing your time so you can get better at something, and then you can take all that money and then invest it into real estate. And while this is going on, while you're hustling, while you're saving all this money, you're gonna be investing in yourself, buying up courses so you can learn real estate investing strategies because there's more than just one. There's wholesaling, flipping, uh, buy and holds, lease options or rent to owns like I teach here on this channel. Then there's many strategies inside of these bigger strategies. I understand investing in your 20s is hard, it is. But if you put in that hustle, you're gonna get there. The last thing I wanna talk to you about is investing in real estate while you're in your 20s. Comment down below if you're in your 20s and what you should be investing in. If you're not in your 20s, go ahead and comment. I want to know what you are investing in right now to prepare yourself for a financially successful future. Investing in real estate while you're in your 20s is literally no different than whenever you're 30. It's the exact same. You find a property, you buy it, you rent it out, or you flip it, or whatever your strategy is, that's what you do. Now think think about this 20 year old. Let's say you're working a part-time job, working 20 hours a week. Just 20, that's not a big deal. You can save $500 every single week. If you save literally all of it, you know, you're saving $2,000. Guess what? $2,000 working at this job, part-time job for a year. Let's say you're a sophomore in college and you're 20 years old, exactly 20, and you've saved $24,000 in a whole year. 
now you're a junior in college. You can buy a property and then have it pay you $500 every single month. You're saving $2,000 a month from your part-time job. You got a, a $500 a month from your real estate deal. You got $2,500 now in the bank every single month. It just compounds. The next year, you have one more property. You're a senior, you're a senior in college now. You have two real estate properties that are bringing you $1,000 a month. And then in six months, you can buy another property. This is how real estate works. And this is why it's so powerful to do that at such a young age. Because in the example I just gave you, you're 22 years old at this point, And you have two properties about to buy your third. And you're 22 years old. And this is going to compound. You're going to be able to retire by probably 27 years old. I'm 25 right now. In four years, that's when I'm going to be retired. I'm going to be retired with me and my wife. I'm going to retire us both from real estate investing. If you haven't got anything out of this video, listen to this. Sacrifice three to five years of your life hustling, saving as much as you can to buy real estate properties and then live the rest of your life. Not have to stress about a job if you're going to get fired or if something like the, the COVID-19 happens and you get laid off. You don't have to worry about that because you sacrificed your three to five years to set yourself up for the next 30 to 50 years. Guys, if you don't spend that three to five years hustling, saving everything you got to invest in really any type of investment that pays you while you sleep, because if you don't figure out how to make money while you sleep, you're, you're going to work until you die. I believe Warren Buffett said that. So investing in your 20s doesn't always have to necessarily mean investing your money. What you should be doing is investing your time to make money, invest that money into something that makes you money while you sleep. That way in three to five years, you don't have to work for someone else. If you want to know how to achieve your financial independence, there's gonna be a video popping up over here. It's gonna be right here, uh, teaching you how to achieve your financial independence with your financial independence number. So be sure to go check out that video. Until next video, guys, I'm out. See ya.